You guys, I'm that mom. Over here, let me show you one secret hiding space. Hey y'all, welcome to my closet tour. This video is so long overdue. Y'all have been requesting me to do a closet tour since I literally sneak peeked it probably like a year and a half ago. It has been such a huge work in progress. If any of you guys have OCD, then you can feel my struggle that I go through. Like honestly, it's not even funny how many times I've moved things around. Like I've moved this from there, that from there, that from there, that to there, like literally a million times. <laughs> like Eldon is sick of me by now and I'm sick of me too, but <laughs> I'm just very indecisive, but I also like change. So I like to kind of switch it up just to feel fresh. And obviously in a case like this, you can't move things around as far as the built-ins and stuff, which I also filmed and it was so long ago that I don't even remember what I filmed. So I'll insert some of that footage in here. Me. <laughs> because he's looking at you. He <laughs> gives you such a guilty look. Shout out to my husband, he is literally goals. Like, I probably put in 5% work. <laughs> We're figuring it out right now and trying to like measure all that. So, <sighs> if you're not smart, this will be hard. But if you are smart, like this one over here, he's literally a mathematician. I don't do none of the calculations. We finally finished putting together the entire closet. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all my clothes away and then I guess I'll check back in once I'm done. So wish me luck cause I'm gonna be up all night doing that tonight. Definitely been a journey and even just planning this whole built-in out was a lot of thought process. So shout out to my King Eldon for not only helping me plan everything out, map out all this, everything you see, but also building it. You guys, this took a few days, but like spread out over a few weeks. Like it definitely took some time. So this was originally gonna be our guest room. However, the master's on that side of the wall and it's really, really small. So we decided to make this a walk-in closet. And I have to say, this is definitely my favorite room of the house because we have put blood, sweat, and tears in here. So over here, we have my shoe wall and all my clothes. And over here in this corner, I have baskets with belts, bags, accessories. I've got my hat collection stacked up here. Got my baby Balenciaga backpack. Shout out to my Morphe fam when I collabed with them and I was the face for one of their campaigns. They gifted me this. I love them so much. I was so grateful for that. And here we have my beloved fragrance collection, which actually brings us to today's sponsor. Major shout out to Semperd for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. You guys, I've been such a big fan of theirs for so many years. I actually have quite the collection. I wanna say these are from 2018, which may sound old, but you guys, I have a lot of vintage fragrances all up in here. As you can see, I am a huge fragrance junkie. I've been collecting since a very young age. It may not look like a lot here. I'll show you guys deeper in there after. So basically, Semperd is a subscription service which you can choose from over 600 fragrances every single month. And they have so many different designer brands that you can choose from like Prada or Gucci or Versace. So you can literally choose a new designer fragrance every single month for just $17 and not have to commit to not only a big bottle, but even the price. Cause y'all know designer fragrances come with a pretty pros tag, mama. So each fragrance comes in a little vial like this. They're so cute, perfect for travel. You just twist up to spray and you can also remove it to see the name. And I love that all the fragrances or colognes that you choose come with an information card with the notes, which comes in clutch, especially when you order a few and you need to know which one's which. And you can also see what the bottle looks like. Fun fact, I was doing a lot 
lot of research trying to find a dupe for my favorite cologne in the world, which is Limon Cité from Louis Vuitton. And like I said, y'all know designer prices. So I was trying to find something more affordable because I want this in every single bag, every single backpack, in my cars, in my bathroom, in my beauty room, in my closet. <laughs> I want it everywhere because this is literally my ride or die. And I've used quite a lot given the fact that I have a trillion other fragrances to choose from. But allegedly, this one is supposed to be a dupe for it, which is Issy or Izzy Miyake Ludice. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but girl, do not trust Reddit because this smells nothing like it. Like literally, nothing like it. So I don't think I'll be using this one because it's actually just way too floral and sweet for me. But that's why I love Scentbird because you can get little trial sizes and smell it before you buy it. And I'm not saying it's a bad smell. Obviously, everybody has their own tastes and preferences, but I'm more of a cologne kind of guy. I like more spicy, woodsy, sexy, manly tones. As I got older, I really grew out of the sweet smelling scents just because it's not that they smell bad, it's just I get really nauseous and sick. So I've definitely made a switch over to colognes over the last years. I do have a lot of fragrances and perfumes from like literally when I was a teenager and growing up as a child. <laughs> Trust me, I've got some old ones in there. So I got four this month, but these two are definitely my fave. This one is the Christian Siriano Midnight Silhouette, and this one is Scents of Wood, Cedar, and Acacia. The Silhouette one has Red Salt, Pomelo, Shimmering, Freesia, Vetiver, and Praline. And then the Cedar of Acacia has Cedar, Ginger Oil, Cinnamon Bark, Cypriol Heart, is that how you say it? And Oris Concrete, which is right up my alley. This one just reminds me of like a sexy fire. Like I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> I know colognes are marketed for guys but use whatever floats your boat. We just want to smell good. Oh my god. This is hot. My favorite thing is that they're travel friendly as well. These are literally the perfect size. You can just throw it in your pocket. I have fragrances in my car, my bags, my shoes. I'm just kidding. That's the one thing about me. I always want to smell good. Even if it's just a body mist, a cologne, I don't care what it is. I just gotta smell good. So you can actually upgrade to receive two to three products every month. And the best part is Scentbird is super flexible. So you can skip any month without any fees or penalties. I'll go ahead and leave all the information down below for you guys, as well as my top two faves from this month. So you guys can check that out. Make sure to click the link down below and use my code CassieMUA for 55% percent off your first month with Scentbird, which is literally like eight dollars for your first month and also for all my canadian followers Scentbird is now available in canada so y'all can be smelling designer for a great price too major shout out to Scentbird again for sponsoring this video i love you guys so much and let's get on to the rest of the closet tour so here's a close-up of all my fragrances she goes back pretty deep i think i just feel like it's a lot because i've been collecting a lot of these since i was a kid and y'all a little story time <laughs> when we moved from Hawaii out to California it was like such a mission to pack these babies and make sure none of them broke Eldon had a great idea to pack them in our big like huge soup pots and we wrapped them individually with bubble wrap and towels and then we duct taped the heck out of the pots just to make sure they would not open and let me tell you each and every single one survived modern muse this one is from Estee Lauder fun fact I wore that one on my wedding day Givenchy play is also another one of my favorite colognes this one smells so good more colognes back here this one i don't really like that much i got that one as a gift including limon cité that was also a gift there's a lot of different colognes in here that smell really fire and of course we have miss britney spears curious and fantasy tell me if this is also a core memory for you guys like this is such a prominent memory of my childhood i actually went through a bigger bottle and this is my second one but i got a smaller one because i rarely use it i just keep the scent for memories y'all know pink we have the victorious secret love spells back here ed hardy oh my god i'm having so many flashbacks like it's so crazy how a scent can bring you back to a specific time in the back of my scent birds i have these cute little ones little sample size travel ones and how's this throwback <laughs> miss juicy couture when i tell you i have such a bad problem of collecting fragrances and just never using them because i just didn't want to use them 
And now look, they've just gone bad, but I still have them for memories. And then these two from Yves Saint Laurent. I was on a good kick with these for a while, but I don't really use them as often anymore. These are both men's colognes. I even have a backup back there. So I better start using them up because I'm gonna have to give it away if not. And oh my God, Mr. Aquatic, we go <laughs> way back. Like I'm not even lying when I say I've been using this one for like 15 years. And this one, I never, ever, ever get sick of. A lot of these fragrances, I'll go through phases. And then some of them, like this Versace one, like I'm sick of it, never ever use that one. Turquatic I can use for any occasion, any day, any outfit. It's literally so freaking good. This one's actually my backup. I have my open one out in the living room right now. But y'all, look at All of these are brand new MAC fragrances. And I know this is so bad, but it's just like, I'm just a serious collector. These are also all from MAC. You guys, when I worked there, y'all know that discount was hidden. I would literally spend majority of my check at MAC. Look at all this. I just have all of it collecting. So if you guys recognize any of these, then you're an OG. You're a MAC dinosaur like me. Because all of those are long gone and discontinued, but never forgotten. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. So I'm gonna try to get through this quickly because we've got a lot to show you today. So first of all, Eldiana's stuff is in here. Actually, I think I have stuff in here too. <laughs> a little disclaimer, we are hoodie ho We've got some outerwear. And then this side over here, puffers, thick winter wear, a few dresses. I recently had to let go of a lot of stuff. I had trash bags for days and we donated hella clothes, which felt really good and honestly, I could get rid of more, but I'm not gonna lie, I kept a lot of it just for the aesthetics because it just looks so pretty. We got these hooks off Amazon and they're actually really sturdy and durable. I love these. They have um, adhesive so you can actually take them off and it won't ruin this. I just hang robes and stuff here. As you can see, I love flannels. And then up there, we got our cowboy hats. I have all my jeans, which is crazy because I had them in the drawer for the longest time and I didn't realize how many that I actually have. Shout out to Laura's Boutique, she'd be coming through. This is actually not done, it's just kind of organized. I'm a very resourceful person. I definitely wanna upgrade my organization. I do have some in these trays, I love the acrylic trays. I had like five times as much of this and I just got rid of a lot of it. A lot of it is like sentimental from like childhood. I can't get rid of this jade bracelet because it's very special to me and it broke in a bunch of pieces which makes me so sad. I definitely gotta get a new one because this one is too big. I also have Hanalei's <laughs> first teeth fallout. He was the only one we got as a baby so he's the only one that I have teeth from otherwise I would have the other two's teeth too. <laughs> you guys I'm that mom. And then I don't know why these coins are in here, but I actually collected every single state's quarters and Eldon got me a book like years ago. I don't know where that book is, Somewhere. but it has it all nicely displayed with all the 50 states. I have all of my wedding jewelry back there, my ring boxes from when Eldon proposed to me. And this, do you remember this? This has like little yeah. knickknacks and like memories in it, that but for Christmas. yeah, you yeah. put it in my stocking stuffer, like one of our first Christmases. So I don't know, I've just hung on to it. Like I'm weird, like I keep this kind of shirt. I have so much Mac jewelry. When you move up with a company and have seniority over the years, they gifted us jewelry for like, different achievements and milestones, which was very special. I don't know if they still do it. It's been years since I worked there, but this is one of them. And a lot of the jewelry, actually pretty much all the jewelry, I never used. Like it's all brand new. This is a watch. <laughs> Maybe one day I will make a video just on my sentimental jewelry and stuff and show you guys because I got some cool stuff. It's collecting dust and I don't want to use it because it's very special, very, very special to me. I have some other MAC pieces there, but like I said, we'll save that for another video. I have all my earrings and studs and stuff in here and that's basically the whole rundown for my jewelry. Everything in my closet, I try my best to keep it all color coordinated. I've got a trillion Tay shorts. Shout out to Laura's Boutique again. So when you guys see me wearing these every day, they're all fresh pairs, trust me. <laughs> I've got all my shorts in here. I have all my black pants, shorts, all of that in there. I have more sweats. Again, I try to keep it color coordinated, but it do be getting crazy at times. So clearly we're a big fan of black around here and like I said, this is only half of what I did have. I am proud of myself for minimizing, but I know I could get rid of more, I know. <laughs> I've got some sentimental ones in here, my first merch. Let's see where the other one is. The Yeehaw hoodie, this is my 
holiday merch from last Christmas. Since we're at it, I'll just show you guys this one. Y'all know that one, <laughs> Miss Montana. I think this one has to be one of my faves. Eldiana got me this one for my birthday. If you guys saw my Disney vlog back in February, uh, y'all know I wore this to Disney and it was so hot. This thing is like 10 pounds. It's so heavy Dense. and super thick, yeah. But yeah, this one's very special to me. It is a Stormtrooper. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I'm obsessed with Stormtroopers and I want to get one tattooed on me. So I gotta think of where. We have leather, pleather, I mean, and a few denim in there. And then we have some like fashion statements back there. Also, fun fact, this is from the Mac Hello Kitty collection. I've stored it for like, I think over a decade and it just naturally started peeling so now it looks like that miss mac hello kitty that was the most iconic collection mac ever came out with i got every single piece and i didn't touch any of the makeup i still have it definitely rotten by now but brand new it's already getting damaged i didn't even like take it out so i was like i just need to display it i think eventually i might want to put something else up there but i just put it there for now two of my carry-on suitcases this one is very special I got this as a gift. It is an off-white, uh, what's it called? Carry-on. She is pricey. Like I said, I did get it as a gift, but I still don't want to use it because it's just so pretty. And then I have this Hello Kitty pillow. I used to have a million of them. And I talked about this in my Christmas video, my Hello Kitty obsession, because I was showing all my Hello Kitty ornaments. I was the biggest HK fan and Sanrio. Hello Kitty is so huge growing up in Hawaii too. So everybody has Hello Kitty stuff, but I had toaster, panini maker, and it made like little Hello Kitty heads, a ton of Hello Kitty shirts, sheets, towels, pillows, you Pencil name it. Holder, eraser. Jewelry. I even wore Hello Kitty head necklaces like all the time, rings. I was like obsessed key cover for, but, for the house oh yeah all my keys had like those little like the covers rubber, that go yeah. over the key i will always have a special place in my heart for hello kitty but i was like it's time to grow up mama i gotta get rid of all this shit so now i have little pieces here and there oh speaking of hello kitty let me show them <laughs> eldon actually just got this a few days ago and it's so cute a little vegan ramen bowl with hello kitty on the chopsticks i need to get that next <laughs> so moving on to these trays i kind of collect sunglasses i have some that are so similar but i just love sunny you never know when you're gonna need a statement piece like coachella coachella y'all know i love me some clear blue light lenses which i want to get some more because i wear these all the time just for like a little fashion statement fun fact i was blind as a bat but i got lasik when we first moved to california and it was the best thing i ever did in my life honey but anyway these are my sunnies these drawers have like crop tops body suits and then my gym attire and then over here i can definitely show you this because i spent a lot of time doing this and i did get rid of a lot of shirts so now i have a little bit of space i've got all my blacks my graphic tees i even have high school shirts i have a whole box of like shirts from childhood and high school that i won't get rid of but those are just being stored and then we have all the whites and the neutrals girl i've got tees for days and you guys know this is like literally my uniform tay shorts and an oversized tee so now we have the colors and then down here we have dresses and like two pieces and stuff like that i kind of breeze past this but i have my denim and then my nudes all the way into my grays my whites and then my pastels, which are my favorite color tones. I love me a good neon moment too, but I am obsessed with anything pastel. And it kind of just flows down nicely into my bright rainbow colors. I just love this corner so much. Like, I feel like I can just do little photo shoot moments here. Also, so much thought went into like, where everything went because there is a mirror over here which i wanted to take like mirror selfies so i wanted to make sure that whatever i was wearing it wasn't gonna clash over here we have my beautiful monroe masterpiece shout out to one of my tattoo artist friends chavo i got this piece from him i think like two years ago he is so talented and then down here i have lingerie lingerie fajas shapewear and all bikinis over here we have ah, my favorite part of my room which 
inches my shoe wall this has taken such a long time to get this big honestly to just slowly collect and once again shout out to Eldon for literally measuring the entire wall figuring out how many shelves I need and how far apart they needed to be applied mounted mounted what's your favorite pair right now um, honestly I love them all you gotta pick one but I don't want to say favorite because they honestly are all my favorite but the one that I feel like is the most wearable has to be the mochas it's just such a good sneaker all around and you can wear it with anything and everything pretty much I just love a good mocha moment but they're all beautiful honestly good choice. and like i said earlier i have major major ocd it is something that is kind of annoying but also satisfying at the same time once you get everything looking right i've never really been like fully content with it so i've changed it so many times i tried to keep it color coordinated like as a rainbow and yes this is driving me nuts i need to get one more pair so i kind of keep it gradient as best as I can and then I have all the white. I honestly don't really wear heels as much anymore, especially after the pandemic. So I've got a lot of heels just thrown in a box, but I have my more statement cowboy boots here. And then we have like all our thigh high boots. We have some combat boots. I have some statement heels. These ones are so cute. Over here, let me show you one secret hiding space. All my extra shoelaces and things like that are in here. And that's pretty much it. My pride and joy, my baby. We have spent so many long hours in this room. And honestly, I am very happy with what it looks like right now. Like I said, I always go through changes and I want to move things around. But I definitely feel very comfy and like homey when I come in here. Also, shout out to because she comes in clutch. Even when I'm picking an outfit, even if it's just 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna throw on a few jams. More than likely Post Malone, he always gets me in the mood. I think that's it, did I forget anything? Um. Oh, your clothes. <laughs> that's not all. He has a bunch in our closet, in our master room, which is over there. This is more of like his winter wear and then all his daily wear. We also have a dresser in our room is where he keeps all his clothes. And they haven't even seen your sneaker collection. I think I at least have double what you, you have. You have like double if not triple. Oh, also everything you see in here as far as like the built-in is from Ikea, including the floating shelves for the shoe wall. Eldon truly did such an amazing job like mapping everything out, measuring everything and making it all fit. Everything is separate. Like the glass, well you can see this one better. The glass, you can get this solid, you can get a glass, all the trays, everything is custom and you can build it how you want. However many drawers, you can go all the way to the top, you can do shelves. Do you remember what it's called? I'm pretty sure it's the PAX system. Oh yeah, it is, yeah, PAX system. So P-A-X, if you look it up on Ikea, you can see all the options and I believe it comes in different colors too. But yeah, that is it for my closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys have been wanting to see this for so long, especially like the times when I've like posted one or two selfies in this mirror. Everyone's like, oh my God, closet tour, closet tour. So I'm so happy that I finally got to do this. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like these types of videos. And yeah, thanks again for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.